Hello YouTube, it is Everything Epan here, and in this video we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2430 in VirtualBox. Now this is the um, next build in the series that I've done of the Windows Whistler beta uh, builds, if you're following along even in the playlist there. Um, and this is uh, a build that was compiled on January 31st, 2001 and was a part of the, if you want to call it pre-beta 2 series of the Windows Whistler builds um, on here. Um, and this will be the exact same process that's been used in previous Whistler build videos. Um, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and just get right into it here. Um, so links will be in the description here for uh, VirtualBox. Uh, the latest version at this time of filming is 7.0.4. You can download it for your specified OS if you do not yet have it. Um, also, what will be in the description is the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO that you'll need to change the BIOS states, uh, the date that I just listed off there. Um, and then the third uh, thing here that you'll need, um, I'll also have a link since it's a RAR file, I'll have a uh, link for WinRAR in the description, but you'll need something like WinRAR or 7-zip, something like that to open the RAR file there um, and access the ISO. Um, and then here is a archive link for a bunch of Whistler builds. So you can feel free to download any others you want to try. Um, but the one we want to focus on is this one right here is the, you want to find the 5.1.2430 here. Um, and you want to make sure you download that if you don't have it already. Um, but that's all you really need for the install here. So once you have, uh, everything that you need, um, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and open up VirtualBox here. And then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and create a new machine um, and start this from scratch. So we'll go up here to uh, new. And then I'm just going to type in Windows Whistler build 2430. Um, you can go ahead and insert the ISO now if you wish. Um, it's possible it might detect the... Uh, operating system automatically but let's see if we can just insert that iso so it does detect it as a windows xp um 32-bit uh type here so we're going to skip the unattended installation too um but it should have it uh, automatically selected as windows xp 32-bit if you didn't insert the iso make sure this is listed as windows xp 32-bit and we'll want to go ahead and hit next and then i'm going to actually uh just for fun, I guess you want to call it, uh, we're going to bump it up to a gig of RAM here. You can leave it at the default if you want. It's not like you're really going to need much for this anyways. And then hit next. And then we're going to go ahead and create the virtual hard disk here. It's saying 10 gig default here. We can leave it at that or lessen it maybe a little bit even if you wanted, but we'll just do the 10 gigs. And then uh, you can check the box to pre-allocate the full size. So basically it'll take up all 10 gigs on your R drive where you have it saved to uh, versus it just dynamically allocating it uh, based on the amount it's used in VirtualBox there. Um, but we you have your preference there, just hit next, and then it'll give you your machine summary here. Um, you can review that if you wish, but we can hit finish. And here is the machine, and we do have that created. Um, so now since we have uh, actually here, we need to make sure we have the MS-DOS ISO inserted. So you don't need to insert the Whistler off the bat just to get the operating system to show up. If you just want to make sure that's set to Windows XP 32-bit, um, you want to make sure the MS-DOS um, ISO is the one that you put in first. Once you have that inserted, go ahead and hit Start. And it's going to go ahead and power up the machine. And so it'll say uh, starting MS-DOS, it'll load up DOS prompt here. And then what we'll want to do is type date, and this is where we're going to go ahead and change the BIOS date. So to have the current date in there um, for you, and then what we're going to want to go ahead and enter in is 01-31-2001. And hit enter. And you can confirm that was changed by type date again, and it should say Wednesday, uh, January 31st, 2001. Um, so we have the date changed. Now we can go ahead and reinsert that Whistler, uh, 2430 ISO. Um, if you already had it inserted, it should be in your dropdown. Otherwise go ahead and hit choose a disc file and locate for it there. 
go up to machine and do reset and we're going to go ahead and reset the virtual machine here and it should load you up into the setup and so it'll go ahead and load up the uh installer here and there we go we're on setup screen here um so we're going to go ahead and just go through the uh, setup prompts here so just hit enter to continue it'll give you the welcome to setup screen just hit enter again um and then the license agreement will come up just go ahead and hit f8 to agree it'll give your one partition that you have on here of the 10 gigs or whatever amount of storage you dedicated to it so hit enter to format that and we're going to format using the ntfs file system quick and so it's going to go ahead and format your drive. And so then it's going to examine the disk and then it's going to go ahead and copy the files over on um, to the hard drive here. It'll do all that copying over. And then once that is done, finally loading through here, it will restart or prompt to restart the machine. And there you can see it. So we'll go ahead and uh, restart here. And then we're going to let that run through. Do not press any key to boot from the CD. And then it's going to go ahead and it should load up into the graphical part of the setup here. You'll see the beta 2 um, boot screen here that it has and here we go uh, it's loading up here into the installation so we'll go ahead and let it uh, run through here on this first part and then it should bring up a window here after the installing devices uh, bar loads through there We'll just go ahead and let it load through here. And then once it is done, it will bring up your regional and language options. So you want to pick these um, as you need. And then once we have those selected, just hit next. It's going to ask you to enter in a name and organization. Um, the name is the only part required in here. So go ahead and enter that in and hit next. It's going to ask for the product key. So I'm going to go ahead and get that entered in here. Um, and then once that is uh, entered in, we will go ahead and proceed to the next step. So I'm just finishing up typing in the key. And then uh, if you do need to copy this down here, I've got this key on screen. Um, should be able to, there's you know places online you can locate the keys and everything for too. Um, but we'll hit next. And then I'm just gonna name this uh, Whistler2430 for the PC name or the computer name here and hit next. It's gonna ask for the date and time again here. I'm confirming it still says January 31st, 2001. That's certainly what we're looking for. You can change the time zone if you want, and then you can hit next. It'll do that little installing network and come up with this uh, network settings tab here. We'll wanna do the typical settings, and then we we'll wanna leave it as is with no, and then having work group in the blank, just like that. And so it's going to go through the process of copying the files and then now it's on the completing installation stage and it's just going to continue to run through the rest of the setup here um, until it's ready to reboot uh, for a second time here uh, in this install. So now we're on to the next one of registering components. And it's just going to keep continuing through these different uh prompts here going pretty quick actually of course because we're it's obviously using newer hardware and nothing from the early 2000s or anything like that so 
Um, once it gets finished through everything here, it's on, I think this should be the last uh, part here of the saving settings. Actually, there might be one more after this. And then it should prompt us, um, or it should have us go ahead and reboot here. There may be one prompt that comes up at the end of this. Um, in some of the Whistler builds that actually has it happen, it looks like it didn't in this one, which is nice. Um, so it'll reboot. Just make sure you don't press any key to boot from the CD, or again, you'll just keep going in that loop. And then it should go ahead and load us up into the last part of the setup here. You'll see again with that beta 2 uh, Windows Whistler boot screen here. And you'll see on the bottom right hand corner, we do have Windows Whistler Professional build 2430 um, down here. So that's good to see. So on the display settings, we can make sure to go ahead, just uh, you can check the box and hit yes, it'll make it a little bit bigger. And if you hit yes, it will continue here. So, I will play your classic Windows 2000, Windows Me uh, startup sound there, and then um, it'll bring us up into this next part of the setup here. So it'll have a welcome to Microsoft Windows uh, part here. And what we we'll wanna do is just hit next. And then we'll do, we'll just go ahead and skip this. We're gonna do no on the activation. And then this is where, you know, you can create multiple accounts or just one account. Um, so I'll just hit no on this. So it creates just the one account. It's going to ask for your first and last name. You do not have to put both in there. If you just put in a first name, it should take it. And then it will say thank you. And we'll finish. And so it may take a while to load through here on this uh, next part once we hit the finish there. And then eventually it should bring us up into the, uh, into the desktop here. So there you go. And as you can see, it's got some different effects here. You have the little fade in effect on the taskbar there still. Um, but it is really resembling Windows XP in this. In this. Um, there's a few you know icons that still are older and... Um, some things that certainly aren't updated here just yet, but uh, we're really start it's really starting to take shape once it gets really into these uh, later builds um, as well. So nice to see here that that's all working as it should. But uh, yeah, that will wrap it up with this. Uh, that is the uh, tutorial here on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2430 in VirtualBox. I do appreciate you guys uh, tuning into this video and thank you for watching. If you did uh, enjoy the video or found it helpful at all, you can certainly leave a like down below. Um, if you have any ideas for any future videos or had any uh, thing to add to the comments, certainly can go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, if you are watching this and not yet subscribed to the channel, you can subscribe down below. You can hit the post notification bell to be notified whenever I upload and um, keep up to date on the channel. Um, so again, this is a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler built 2430 uh, 2430 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.